Davis bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Cornhuskers are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football Pregame Show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Nebraska, this game will be played on the turf of Memorial Stadium. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Hitman has the ball set how he wants it, and we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. Gathered in at the six. And he's taken down at the 27. You know, Herbie, for an offensive coordinator, he's got to love this kid. Mosley's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played. Right? Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance at least shutting him down. And he's taken down around the 26-yard line. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. He makes it to the 28-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. Looks middle, got his back. And down he goes at the 41. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. That brings up second and nine. He makes it to the 45-yard line. That's a DD2 on the play. That makes it 37. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. He's going to try and scramble. Dives for extra yardage. So the ground game picks up another first down. Well, this really works on a defensive psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now are just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Throws and it's incomplete. They line up for another third down and they've had no problem converting their first two. He scrambled. 
Tackle made at the 34-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Makes it to the 17. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Here's the 11th play of the drive. The five. Touchdown, Nebraska. And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Bulldogs were ranked 18th. They hope this victory will push them even higher. And for New Mexico State, they've now lost six in a row. The Bulldogs win it 24-20. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Nebraska is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Tackle at the 37. Baldwin gains about four yards there. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. Gets out to around the 48. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. Steps out of bounds around the 48 yard line. hit immediately in the backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Moves up in the pocket, and down he goes. Williams awaiting the return. We're through one quarter. The Cornhuskers with a touchdown lead. to the action now here in the second quarter. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's scrambling. And they make the stop around the 34-yard line. Nebraska's got a guy behind center that can really do it all, Herbie. I mean, he's a dual threat. He can hurt you with his feet and his arm. With this guy, it's PYP. Pick your poison.
It's second and ten. Ball on the 34. Nebraska is up a score. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. Brought down at the 38. Outside after a nice pickup. An incredible series for the defense, and they get them out after three plays. That offense has to regroup and come up with a plan to move the ball down the field next time. Thompson is the punter. Britton takes it to 25. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Throws it in a hurry. He's at midfield, and he's shoved out of bounds right around the 46-yard line. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 44. And he's hit immediately. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. Going right to his tailback. He's at the 20. He's pushed out of bounds at the 16. That makes it first and 10. From the 16-yard line, first down. tries to buy some time picks up the fumble and he hits him hard at the nine yard line they work hard and they got the turnover well, this is what it's all about defense taking advantage of an opportunity they're pouncing on the loose ball in a game that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions Nebraska up seven points. And he is drilled at the 11. A couple of yards there on the option to the halfback. Nebraska is going to use their first time out of the half here. Two minutes left in the half. Big opening. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. The Boilermakers saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Pass complete and taken down immediately. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. the first down catch 
and he's taken down around the 41-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. <laughs> he threw that ball so hard, I don't think anybody wanted to catch it. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. And he throws it away. Short over the middle. And down he goes at the 42. Well, that's one of those plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. Nebraska is up by a touchdown. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. This offense was infected by the turnover bug their last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. Each possession gets more and more vital as the game goes on, especially when you're behind. You can't afford to make many more mistakes. They'll bring him down around the 33-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. From their own 33-yard line, second down. He's on the run. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. First down. Makes the catch and look out, and he's level at the 46-yard line. Brooks makes the tackle at the 46-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. Well, we've got a player down, and let's hope that's nothing serious. Check, check. Easy, easy, easy. Fuck yeah. two, fuck two. Tackle at the 30-yard line. Purdue's good. called their final yards. timeout. White that picks up seven yards good. with that catch. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. The Boilermakers had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Deep ball, laying it out there. Can't connect. He'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. And here's a quick throw. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. 7-0, Nebraska. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Every offense that we see every week, David, they put a premium on making big plays. We haven't seen that so far in the first half. Defensive guy like you, how, how much do you appreciate what you've seen from these defenses in the first half? Uh, very much so. It's fun to watch a defense that comes up and when a guy needs to get on the ground and you need to get him on the ground for eight yards instead of ten in a first down, they're doing it. They're doing a great job of being willing to be physical, you know, dominate the point of attack, not let those big plays get over top of you, not, not let a receiver run down the field without jamming them at the line of scrimmage and messing up the timing. So right now it's fun to watch a defense that's physical, that's playing where it's supposed to be, that's pressuring the quarterback, stopping the run, really having this way of doing a great job of making everything very difficult for the offense. 
David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Caught at the eight. Brought down at the 30. The Cornhuskers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. to his receiver. He's hit and taken down. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Watch your team. Watch your team. Watch your team. Little handoff. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a game of five on the play. That makes it first and ten. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. First down. From the 46-yard line, first down. Zips it to the back, and they make the stop at the 38-yard line. That brings up second and nine. They try running left, brought down in the open field. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. Brought down at the 23. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. Makes it first and 10. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Another trip in the red zone here for the offense. They don't want to give it up like they did last time. And that sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they are very close to tying this thing up. And he's tackled right away. That brings him second and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. And he's tackled at the three yard line. They're down a touchdown, so this is an important play. It's third and goal from the three. Fakes to the back. And he's got all the time in the world. He's going to try and scramble. That's a great tackle at the 12. That brings us to goal.
This should be an easy field goal. Kicks away, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the six. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Nebraska is up four. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Got it to the senior. And they push him out at around the 44-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. of offense or great defense call it what you will we head to the fourth quarter Nebraska's up by four back in this very pivotal fourth quarter forward to about the 46. That makes it third and 11. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. Man left, man left. Nebraska is up by four. He throws left. Fourth down. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. And he's tackled at the 25. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. to about the 34-yard line. That brings him second and nine. It's second down now. And they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Watch the team. Watch the team. Watch the team. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Well, the defense stood tall there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. Williams is back deep to return. Tackle the 39-yard line.
This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Nebraska holds a four-point lead. He makes his way to about the 38. yard line first down he tackles him for a loss the option can be really tough to defend but that time it was well played by the defense at the 30, makes it out to about the 26. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. up for the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Purdue will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 31. Just over two minutes in the game. Scrambling around. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. Purdue's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Defender. That was solid fundamental pass defense. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Delayed handoff. Makes it to the 37. That makes it second and two. Check 26, check 26. The spike will stop the clock. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. They'll run it. And they'll get him in the backfield. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. 
Wow, what a battle and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. So not a lot of time left. And they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown! Huge play!
Here's the call from the referee. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Booker takes it from the six, tries to get around the corner. Tackle made at the 31. The Cornhuskers have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. The defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. Brad, this offense, the last time they were out there, went for it on fourth down and came up short. And I'm all for being aggressive. But I really think you've got to be smart when it comes to when to go for it on fourth down and when to punt and try to affect field position. Let's see if this offensive coordinator and play caller has learned from some of his mistakes in the past. Just over a minute left. He chucks it downfield. No, incomplete. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 31. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. That's a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Purdue's out of timeout. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. Takes a knee. NCAA Football 14 for Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports. Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.